Hello, welcome to our 15th edition of Massachusetts. I'm your host, Bob Tremblay. We've got a little bit of snow on the ground, so we're going to get the dogs out for a run, and we're going to talk about how to house and transport your own sled dogs. Well, this doesn't happen very often, but it's really, the weather is too gross to be running the dogs today. Uh, we do have some snow on the ground, but we've got this light rain, and it's really pretty cold, and um, doesn't inspire me to get the dogs out, and they even weren't too happy themselves. So, I think, uh, I think we'll just have to take a rain check on this, and we'll get the dogs out more this week. Uh, the weather's supposed to cool up, so hopefully we should have better conditions. So... Apologize for uh, being misleading, but uh, we'll just talk about how I house and transport the dogs. So for outdoor recreation for my dogs, I have a fenced-in dog pen. It has a five-foot high uh, steel fence. Um, over here I have a shed where the sled is and where a lot of their dog bowls and leashes and harnesses are. And then I have this outdoor pen where I put the dogs during the day to run and play, as you can see they're doing now. Uh, this is actually one of three pens that I have from when I had my team of Malamutes. And you can kind of see it extends down here. The other two enclosures are right next to this one that Bandit and Shiva have now. Here we are inside the pen and you can see that I have two dog houses. Uh, the dogs don't sleep out here, but they do nap out here. These dog houses are actually each made out of a single 4x8 sheet of 3 quarter inch plywood. And I will show you the designs for that. It's actually very simple. And what I like about these dog houses is that they have a flat roof. And I think the flat top is very important because in addition to being able to go inside, uh, they do go on top. And so if I had a pitched roof, they would not be able to kind of rest on top. Such a lazy indoor day for the dogs. So for transporting my dogs, I use my Subaru Outback. And this works out really pretty well for me. Um, I like that I have the rack on top, which I use, as you'll see later, for tying my sled on. Um, but then during this wheeled season, I keep my bike rack on the back. And this takes my bike and also takes the scooter. Uh, so anyway, it, work, it works out pretty well for me. I like the fact that I don't have a trailer. Uh, there are some locations in Canada and Mexico, but the vast majority of them are in the United States. For a number of employees, a Home Depot has... In terms of transporting the dogs themselves, I put them in the back of the Outback, and I keep a, um, a mat back here for them to, to rest in as they ride. And for their safety, is I have these cables that are actually attached to the vehicle that clips onto their uh, their dog collars and this keeps them from running out when I open up the back of the vehicle and also kind of acts as a, as a seat belt and then to keep them from disturbing me as I drive and my passengers I have this fencing this dog gate in the back so they can see through, but they can't get over the seat. And now, last but certainly not least, is how I house the dogs. And so Bandit and Shiva actually live indoors with me. Uh, when I am at work, they're inside. They spend the days inside. When I'm at home, they are outside in the dog pen, or they are also on their runs, which I didn't show to you uh, today. I'll show it to you at, a, at another date. But I do enjoy having the dogs inside with me. It helps us to bond. It gives us a really deep relationship. And all that, I really believe, translates directly to mushing, to dog sledding, and to bike joring. And so by living with the dogs, we are all one pack. And we experience everything together. So I think it makes us for a better sledding team. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this inside edition of Massachusetts. Let's hope that the weather improves, it gets a little cooler and a little drier, 
and we can get the dogs out for a run uh, for our next episode. <coughs> so, till then, I'll see you on the trail. Good dog!